Shalom, on me, Shalom. It's the brother Kaya coming from the gym, Mass Louisiana Saints camp, and um, I just wanted to dive in, man. I was uh meditating on uh, just um, um, generous. Uh, I was, I was meditating on 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 Nero, you know, uh, and uh. And what he uh did and wrong, man, causing that great fire to um basically execute judgment on at that then time called the Christians, man. But um I'm gonna jump into this excerpt. But before I get started, I wanna say Baraka Thayahawa, Baraka Thayahawa Shah, by Shimra Kakwadash, that my honest to the elders and apostles a great millstone, and peace greetings and salutation to the Akams. That's pushing this word, man, and truth and sincerity around the globe. Keep pushing, man. We almost out here, man. And on, <clears throat> you know, these times, uh, it's it's nearly really approaching, man. Like I said, we're just meditating on it, and uh, it just they gonna just cause these false flags. They gonna call these do these false flags, man, so they could attack the men of the Lord, man. And it's nothing new under the sun. What is now has been, and what what has been is now, you know. So. As they done in ancient times, so they gonna do now. The men of the Lord, man, they persecuted them then. They gonna persecute us now. So gird up thy loins like a man, man. You know, and, and get ready for the long haul. But uh, I just wanna grab this real quick. And this on um, from Wikipedia, a little excerpt on um just Nero, man. And um, what it said to believe, which which the men of the law know that this is true. Or what transpired during Rome during that time of that, that great fire. It says, the great fire of Rome was an urban fire in July of the year AD 64. It caused widespread devastation in the city on 19, July 19, I guess 64, before being brought under control after six days. Different accounts either blame Emperor Nero for initiating the fire or credit initiating the fire or credit him with organizing measures to contain it and provide relief for refugees according to to Sidious and later and later Christians Nero blamed the dev devastation on the Christian community in the city <laughs> initiating the empire's first persecution against the Christians man you see so uh this was all done this false flag was raised, man, so he could persecute the church, man. And we know who the church is, man. You know, that's the men of the Lord that's that's pushing, you know, day in and day out, man. You know, they're going to cause a, a, a false flag, you know, so they could demonize the men of the Lord and um use that to, um you know, to um, bound them in prisons, man. You know, as it says, Revelation, they shall... Cash you in prison 10 days, man. You know, you got to hold the fort down. But I won't get into some more some more of this. Uh, we're going to the outbreaks and, and progress of the fire. All right. So his whole goal was to um, persecute the Christians, man. And the Christians being the men of the Lord at that time, man. It says, Tacitus describes the fire as being in shops where flammable goods were stored in the regions of the circus Neighboring the Kalinian, the Kalinian and Palatine hills of Rome. The night was a windy one and the flames rapidly spread along the full length of the circus. The fire expanded through an area of narrow, twisting streets and closely located apartment blocks. In this lower area of ancient Rome, there were no large buildings such as temples or open areas of ground to impede the conflagration. It then spread along the Palatine and Kalian slopes. The population fled first to areas unaffected by the fire and then to the open fields and rural roads outside the city. Looters and arsonists were reported to have sprayed the flames by throwing torches or acting in groups to have hindered measures being made to halt or slow the progress of the flames. To Sidious, Sur surmises that some may have acted under orders or that they may simply have wanted to plund plunder unhindered. All right, see the later stages. 
It says, according to Thucydides, Nero was away from Rome in Antium when the fire broke out, which is bullshit. Uh, may, maybe just so, but he's the, he's the head cause. Because you got to understand, man, when something happens in a man's house, uh, he's the overseer. Even if a man pick up and leave, he leave certain men in charge. You know, he still have watchmen. You know, all this is that's going on, man. So, you know, he he clearly knew what was transpiring, man. I, you know, he started the fire, man. It says he returned to the city and took measures to bring in food supplies and open gardens and public buildings to accommodate refugees. After six days, the organized clearing of the built up areas brought the conflagration to a halt before it reached the Esculini Hill. There was a further outbreak in the a million district involving the destruction of temples and arcades, but less loss of life. However, the fire was now under control. According to, to Tacitus of Rome's 14 districts, three were completely devastated, seven more reduced to a few scorched and mangled ruins, and only four completely escaped damage, man. But, uh... And, uh... The point... When you're going to it, man, it's an old saying. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get it. It's an old saying that uh, it says the popular myth that Nero fiddled while Rome burned is not true, which is bullshit, man. We know that it's true. You know he fiddled while the uh while Rome burned, man. They got an old saying that he sang while Rome burned, man. You know. Just, just as the own, and uh, this, this just from a uh, day. This just from a uh, little excerpt from that just pulled up. It's July nineteenth. The damn geography history, just what it's saying right here. One of these old, uh, whoever he is, man. One of these writers come up with something real quick, man. But we know as they did during the times of, uh, and I'm gonna get into a few scriptures, and I'm gonna close it out, man. But it was all set up for to target the men of the Lord, man. All right, you know those who are who are who are who are anti-government, man. That are against the government, man. You know, are against this B system that they trying to um uh put in place, man. This new world order, man. You know, to um chip the people, man. You can't talk up against the people that's ruling society, man. You know what they have the power to do to you, man? You got to be under the power of the hand of the Lord to do that, man. You got to have a major spirit on you, man. And we're going to get into some of that. But Nero did this, man, so he could persecute the church of the Lord, man, because they was causing havoc in those times in ancient Rome. So the same men are back. Everybody are back in they, in they steed. The spirits are back. The spirits that's subject unto the prophets are, are, are I mean, Salagin. The um, sp the spirits that are subject to the prophets, <laughs> subject to the prophets. Like I know I'm kind of all over the place, man, but I'm trying to get it out. But the whole uh end game is to um demonize the men of the Lord as they doing now, uh claiming that we black black extreme terrorists, man. You know that's what they gonna do so they can um put us in prison walls, persecutors, man, torture us, man. You know what I'm saying? So gird up your loins like a man. And get ready for this, man. Oh, uh, because um, it's some times coming uh, to the men of the Lord, man. That's gonna be unheard of, man. You know, but you gotta hold fast to that what you have. And let's get into some precepts, man. Because it's not only them, man. Your own foes. You know, the scriptures say that that your foes should be them of your own household, man. This Luke twenty one and twelve. It says. But before all these, and when you read up, there's nation rising against nation, earthquakes, different things like that, all right? Walls, rumors of walls. Before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering up, delivering you to the synagogues and into prisons, being bought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Because uh, did not Yahweh shall go through this? You know what I'm saying? Uh, did not Paul, which I'm going to grab that account. You know what I'm saying? Get bought before uh uh judges and rulers, man. You know, by his own people, man. The Jews bought him up there, man. You know what I'm saying? So 
They're not on uh, Jews deliver your your hubble shop, man. So we, we got to get ready to get persecuted, man. And, and we got to pray that the Lord give us that spirit to endure, man. You know, it says, and it shall turn to you for a testimony, man. All right? You know, your testimony is, is basically when you have conquered that, which you have basically when you have... Uh, been 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 caught up in the in the, in the chariots man or you've died in this word man died in the name of the lord man and uh and waiting to come back with to meet um coming back with you i wish i to meet those in the air man who 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 uh lot was to uh make it through man and pull through and be uh saved all right it says settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you should answer because paul knew what what uh what to tell the little messenger to go tell a high priest, man, during the time when he was he was about to get uh, stoned or put to death or whatever, man. Yeah, I wish I sup with him, man. He came to him, came to Paul and told Paul he was going to tell him that, man. You know, I'll do this. I'll go there. I'll do this, man. You know, I'm just uh, really uh, paraphrasing the account. It says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which your adversary shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. All right. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends, man. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death, man. <laughs> so, Akim, you only got the Akim that's in there, man. You only got the men that fear the Lord, man. All those who cause you to be put to death, they don't fear the Lord, man. You know? So you go to... It, it, you start slimming it and trimming it out. You know, like, hey, it's a small line. It's a thin line between who my family, who my true family is and who not, man. It says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And that's what's happening right now. You know? Have I, like Paul said, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? We just out there speaking the truth, man. All right? From from this devil beguiling the people, man, and making the people docile. We speaking the truth, man, of what he have done, man. You know, we only speak in words. So why would he want to kill us for something we said? It says, should not we be hated for all men's sake, man? Hated of, of, of all men for my name's sake. It says, but there shall not in hell of your head perish. All right. This the point. Hold fast, man, because the father gonna protect you, man. Even through that, man. Even if you gotta be uh stoned or whatever it is, man. You know, go out like Stephen, man. Go out smiling, man. <laughs> you know, you're dying anyways, so you might as well gird up your loins, man. Don't sell out because you're about to die. You know, it says in your patience, possess ye your souls, man. And your patient, that word go to enduring affliction, man. And your affliction possess you your souls, man. Hold it down, man. All right, this Acts 23 and uh, I'm going to start at 12. I'm going to get straight to the point with Paul. I just read 11. And the night followed, the Lord stood by him and said, be of good cheer, Paul. For as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear, bear witness also at Rome. So, yeah. Hey, look. So, we're going to have to keep pushing this word, man, until, you know, hey, either our heads roll, we die in the name of the Lord, or till the chariots come get us, man. Until the Father close and seal the time, man. You know, and seal or cut us off. We got to keep pushing the word, man. If a threat can move you off the block, then, man, you wasn't fit for the own um, kingdom of God, man. <laughs> if a threat or, or they, this happened or this or that or something you read, you know, and you looking back, then you wasn't on um, fit for the kingdom, man. It says, and when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would need to eat nor drink till they had killed Paul, man. This was Sadducees and Pharisees, man. All right? They was in a betwixt on what they wanted to do. So, and it says, and they and they were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy, man. Because if you read up, you'll see that there was in a betwixt on what they wanted to do with Paul, man. It says, and they came to the chief priests and elders and said, we have bound ourselves under a great curse 
that we will eat nothing until we have slain Paul, man. Because on uh, when you read up, you see that Paul, he told you, how was I like, man, these are they, you how was I say, why thou persecuted me, Paul? And it, it, these men still know that Paul was one that slayed their people, man, even Stephen, man. <laughs> he kept the raiment of uh, the men that slayed Stephen, man. You know, if you read up, you go up, man. But Yahweh Shah was with him, man. And you got to expect Yahweh Shah to be with you, man. You know? Or either, or either go out like a G. Like, um, this account with, let me get this account with John the Baptist. This Matthew 14 and 1, it says that, and at that time, Herod, the Tetrach heard of the fame of Yahweh Shah and said unto his servants, this is John the Baptist. He has risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother's Philip wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her, man. And when we he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept the daughter of Herodias, Herod, Her 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 Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. Herod, when he promised him with an oath to give her whatsoever she asked. And she been before instructed of her mother, said, give me here John's Baptist head in a charger on a plate, man, a, a fancy plate, man. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the oak's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it be given to her. And he sent and beheaded John in prison, man. I mean, and, and beheaded John in prison. And his head was bought in a charger and given to the damsel. And she bought it to her mother. And come on, man. So John, John the Baptist's head was, um, was beheaded, man. You know, Paul was stoned. You know, hey, these things are written for our learning, man. And for us to understand and get a good take on that. This could well, this, this is going to happen to you, man. You know, there's nothing new under the sun, man. You was persecuted, then you're going to be persecuted now, man. So, hey, persecution come with the territory. Like we say once before, you got to know what you signed up for. This is not a new fucking joke, man. It's about to get really real. You know, the father really about to start thinning out Israel, man. You know, and, and the father start with his house first, man. Mainly the men of the Lord, GM, GMS, man, those who say in there are men of the Lord, man, you know, the fault is starting right there. Get another account in Matthew, uh, real quick. It's 27. This what you, this what you, how was man? I read from 24, I won't read all of it. It says, when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See you ye to it. So, you know, yeah, but you still ain't freedom. You know, this is once you're in the hands of these people, man, because they're going to lay hands on us, man. As I read in Luke, they're going to get hands on men of the Lord, man. We can't run nowhere. We don't got no escape route. We don't got no fucking uh, money. No private jets and islands we own. You know, we gotta we work for them, man, to feed our family. So, you know, we where we could go to our house and lock the door. The most we could do, man. Come on, man. Eat them could cut our lights and water off and that'll draw us out, man. You know, uh, us and our children, man. You know, so they coming to get us, man. You know, like just like they pulled that act off uh with with uh 9-11, man, you know, when they hit the towers, man, they demonized them people so they could go into the land and um, do as they will and take take resources or whatever they whatever their agenda was, man, you know. They're going to do the same thing to the men of the Lord. They got an agenda for the men of the Lord. The number one people on the hit list is the Hebrew Israelites, man. <laughs> Anybody that's that's denouncing that that um 
that that white image that been painted into the people head, man, and putting these synagogues and churches, man, that anybody that's denouncing the, the Roman Catholic Church and announcing that Yahweh Shah is a black skin, dark skin man, according to the scriptures, man, and that they are the chosen people and that the white man is the devil, man. They are against all, they are against everything that they stand for, man. So they coming for us, man. They coming. It's just a matter of time. This is the point, though. It says, then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and our children, man. So, hey, they're going to do whatever they could to exile the men of the Lord, man. And they won't do it in style, man. It ain't going to be no, you know, like y'all wish I said, you know, come take me up and do it fast, man. You know, they going to want, they going to want this to be a, a statement. Of, they won't make publicity of the men of the Lord, man. You know, as the men may confess the name of the Lord on publicly, they going to they gonna want his death to be publicized, man. Men of the Lord's death to be publicized, man. You got to pray that the Father give you that spirit of mercy in that hour, man. You know, and, and of courage, man. To hold fast his name, even unto death. And these what these accounts are for. This is what we read them for, man. We not read them to uh read them and sound good and know where they located at in the Bible, but we read them to exercise them, man. To um put them on a the tablet's our heart, man. You know, in a time of despair and in trouble that we could uh utilize and afford to give us that that heart and that in that model wisdom, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time, man. You got to store these treasures up, man. All right? That's what they did to him, man. Because you got to understand, in this society, we are, we are looked at as the nothings of the society, man. But it's themed, but it's themed as the own... Um, it's themed as the nothing in society, but um, you know, according according to we we are the um most we are the the greatest adversary and foreign enemy towards um the rulers of this this world, man, of darkness, man. You know, pr these principalities, man, that sit in high places, man. They understand who we are, man. You know, like you said, these these sheeple. These cattle, they don't understand what's going on, but men of the Lord do, man. So since y'all in the know, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. It shall be much tribulation entering into the kingdom of heaven, man. And we about to, the hour is here. It's here. We ain't, we ain't about to come into it. It's here, man. You know, you might start hearing a random acts where, you know, brothers may have got snatched out camps or something, man. Just grabbed up, man. You know, they, you know, whatever, man. You know, this how this devil move, man. Interrogating Thrown in prison, man. They just show with the black extremist thing, man. That they gonna just come get brothers from their houses, man. Say they got outstanding warrants, this, that, man, and the third, man. And do they do, man? But you gotta believe in a father, man. This is what you got this thing for. But this, this is it, and I'm gonna close it out, man. I, it kind of got through the spirit. It went long. This John four and forty four. For Yahweh Shai himself testified that a prophet had no honor in his own country, man. You know, so being a prophet of the Lord ain't going to be nothing going to be honorable for you, man. Only thing going to be honorable, you're going to have an honorable debt, man. If you stand fast, um, be steadfast for the Lord, man. That's it. The only thing coming to the men of the Lord that we reaping for either salvation or dying in the name, man. You know, that's it. That's the only thing should be on a on a on a on a elect man mind, uh, on the minds of the elect, man, either. Uh, surviving to get the crown which is first or dying to get the crown which is second man all right meaning dying in the name man you know die honorably man matter of fact let me get that that's a rock 44 through the spirit so you could get a you could get a name like this man This is Rock 44 and 1. It says, let us now praise famous men and our fathers that beget us, man. All right? Some in particular I won't get.
Yeah, and seven. So rock 44 and seven. I'm going to get a couple of them in this and then I'm going to close it out. All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. The men we're talking about, honorable men, all right? There be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported, man. That ain't the point. Uh -uh. It says... It says, with their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. Their seed standeth fast, and their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever, and, the, and their glory shall not be blotted out, man. Because it's going to be a glory, a gl oh, it's going to be a glorifying thing, man, to die before the Lamb in the, in the, in the presence of the holy angels. Why you give up your life for the Lord, man? You know? It's going to be a beautiful thing. It says their bodies are buried in peace, but their name living forevermore, man. All right? You know how honorable that's going to be to the Lord to show that you died in his name for him, man, and got persecuted as his son, man? You're going to be joint heirs with, with the heir, man. All right? Because you you did that which was um honorable in the, in the eyes and sight of our our heavenly father and his son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. It says the people will tell of their wisdom and the congregation will show forth their praise, man. You know, so, but, you know, that's, you know, that's what it is. Let us now, you know, hey, do something that was worthy for your name and be praised, man. And your seed, seeds and, you know, and that your household, I mean, you know, that everything that come from out of your loins may, may be gracious unto the Lord, man, for what you have done, man. Yeah, I, want, I skipped this. It says, um, I'm going to read 2, 3, and 4. It says, the Lord had real great glory by them through his great power from the beginning, such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies, man. The prophets, man, of old, man. It says, leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning, meet for the people, wise and eloquent, or their, or their instructions, man. So, you know, I kind of skipped reading that at the top, man, but through the spirit, man, hey, this is what you got to do, man. You got to, hey, you got to throw all your chips in for the Lord, man. You know, like poker, man, look, hey, you got to go all in, man. You know, but know what you're going all in, in for, man. All right. Understanding it as well, man. Not just out there because it's some type of coat. It's something you could grab on or look cool and hype, man. It look cool to the people in the neighborhood, man. Re knowing that what you signed up, you signed in this covenant for blood, man. All right. It's blood in and blood out, man. You signed on a dotted line with your blood. The only way out is blood, man. You know. But with that argument, I hope that was edifying. And um, we just got to understand, man, that we coming into the times where these people going to deem us as terrorists, man. And we got to point the finger back at them, man, showing that they're the true terrorists, man. You know? But with that argument, um, I'm going to say um, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. I'm going to be honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace, greetings, and solitation to the argument that's pushing this rug around the globe and truth and sincerity. Until the next time, Ockham's. Shalom.